hey foodies and welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another easy dinner recipe for you guys we are going to be making swedish meatballs so let's get started so for this recipe you're going to need a meat of your choice you can use ground beef and pork sausage or you can use ground turkey like me a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs one fourth cup of garlic and herb pasta sauce and of course we can't forget the seasonings and spices i'm gonna be using onion powder complete seasoning paprika cajun style all-purpose seasoning garlic and sea salt spice blend ground sage black pepper and nutmeg make sure you guys check the description box i will have all the measurements for everything there and then, of course, you're going to need your two eggs. That's going to bind everything together. One Maggie bouillon cube, three bay leaves, one medium-sized onion, and a half a cup of milk. All right, so let's start cooking. So first, I'm going to start off by taking that pasta sauce and pouring that directly into my breadcrumbs. I'm just going to go ahead and whisk that all together, just making sure that breadcrumbs really absorb all of that pasta sauce. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that aside. And then we are just going to take one medium sized onion. Obviously you want to take off all of the skin. After you do that, we're just going to go ahead and chop that up. You want to make sure you chop this up really finely because this is going to be going in the meatballs. And I don't know about you, but I do not like big chunks of onion in my meatballs. You can also put this in the food processor and get the same results. So if you're lazy and you don't feel like chopping it up finely like that, just use a food processor. So now you wanna go ahead and set your stove to a medium heat. And then I'm gonna add in those onions. Make sure you only apply a little bit of oil. You do not want your meatballs to be oily. And I'm gonna let that cook for about one to two minutes. I just wanna soften these up a little bit. I don't want them to cook thoroughly through because they are gonna cook inside the meatballs. And I don't want my onions to be too overdone. Once they're done, I'm just gonna transfer it to a bowl and go ahead and let that cool off. So now it's time to assemble these meatballs. So in a large bowl, I'm gonna add in my ground turkey, the spices, the onions, the two eggs, and the breadcrumbs. So now with clean hands, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that together. As you notice, I'm doing like a folded method as I fold everything into each other. Avoid mixing this too much because if you do that, it will be really dense and hard and dry. And that's not what you're looking for when you want perfect meatballs. Now it's time to form the meatballs. I'm gonna be using a spoon and I'm just doing this just to make sure all the meatballs are the same size. Now, if you wanna be fancy, you could go ahead and get you one of those little ice cream scoopers. It'll be easier for you to make these meatballs. So you just wanna keep forming these until you're all out of the mixture. I was able to get about 12 meatballs out of this recipe. And as you can see, my meatballs are very large. So now I'm just going to go ahead and line my baking sheet with some foil and I'm going to place that inside the oven on 400 for about 20 minutes. If you want to, you can fry these on top of the stove, but I just prefer to put these in the oven. I feel like it keeps the shape a little better. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make this gravy. As you can see, I did not discard any of the oil from the onions. You want to save that because that's going to make for a more flavorful gravy. I'm just going to go ahead and add three tablespoons of butter one tablespoon of flour and then i'm just going to go ahead and give that a good mix that starts to bubble up it is time to add in two cups of water then i'm going to use one maggie bouillon cube and we are going to mix that together just so that can dissolve inside if you want to you can substitute this for two cups of beef stock instead so you just want to go ahead and keep stirring that up eventually it's going to thicken just like this so at this point, you want to add a half a cup of milk and you just want to continue to stir this. I'm going to add in some more spices to kick this up a notch. Cajun style all purpose seasoning, sugar, three bay leaves and black pepper. All right. So we're going to give that a good stir. And in the meantime, the meatballs have just came out the oven and this is what they are looking like. As you can see, they're not all the way done. I did this on purpose because I want them to fully cook in that gravy because I wanted to absorb some of those flavors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add in all the meatballs and then I'm gonna baste it with the gravy and I'm just gonna let this cook on low heat for about maybe 20 to 30 minutes. 
just to make sure it's fully cooked in the inside. The meatballs are also gonna absorb all the flavor from the gravy, making this dish taste even better. If you guys could just smell the aromatics coming from the skillet, it just oh, smells amazing. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some parsley on top. We all know this doesn't really do much for the dish, but make it look prettier. So if you want to, you can skip the parsley. And now that we're all done making these meatballs, it is time to plate these beautiful looking meatballs. I'm not even gonna lie, these meatballs look really pretty. If you want to, you guys can keep it classic and serve this over some mashed potatoes or some egg noodles, or you can do like me and serve it over a bed of white rice. Just don't forget to add that delicious gravy on top to finish it off. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know what you guys think about this recipe in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as hitting that subscribe button and clicking that notification bell. I do post twice a week and I know you guys don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.